ever wondered what happens after a person has been convicted and they have to serve a jail term? If they had a family, how do their family cope? How do they overcome the challenges of having one of them not around and they have to continue with life? name is Moses Kitari, the Bishop of House of Grohl Blessed Church, uh, the founder and then director of Children of Ibrison Parents Empowerment Program, a program we founded in 2016. And I believe this is the only program of such kind in Kenya. In Koipe, Children of Ibrison uh, Parents Empowerment, we have uh, activities, we have family tracing going to trace these families. Once we know or we get a report that somebody is incarcerated for more than five years, we embark on family tracing to trace the family, to see their state, to know how they are. And what we found out was very, very shocking. But the children are suffering more, four times more than the person who is jailed. In fact, it is the children who are paying for the sins of the young jailed parent. That is what we found out. We found out they don't go to school. We found out that they are suffering uh, uh, discrimination. They are rejected in the society. In some places, we found that the spouses they left cannot even be allowed in a church. The trend is that once the caregiver goes, the, the, the breadwinner goes to prison, the fathers that is, we've had instances whereby the mother now is, uh, is chased from the home by the relatives of the, of, the, of the husband. When a father goes to prison, most mothers keep telling the child that your dad went to work. They do not, the child does not really know where the father is or the parent that is not there. And actually, that is an aspect which seriously affects the mental and the psychological of that child while they're growing up. We'd like to really, really to appreciate MANA Ministries for their support this year. Uh, they have gifted the children with um, Gift hampers, that is a food, a food package that is uh, comprising of various uh, food items. At least the families will be fed for a while. In Zanda, the Meredawa Namana Ministry, Mefuraia, Na Isakura, that is India Sana, Jadita Rara and Jaden and Otoangu, Na Pian, it has India, neighbor Mania Dakuana, Ungaleo, Tampea Kindora, Tea, Pikia, Vamiyake. I'm Anne Nyokabi. I thank MANA Ministry for supporting us with the fund. Actually, we are very happy. We are much, much, much very happy. I've uh, done mentorship for Koipe, and I can tell you for sure it has been a great and wonderful experience just being in this place with um, the young children, the girls, and this is very specific to this children of imprisoned parents uh, empowerment program because this is what Koipe um, is all about. Really we thank God so much a lot for the grace and the favor that he has given um, this entire program together with Mana Ministries as well to just come forth, come about to see how they can make a long lasting impact um, to these children. By uh, giving them a dignity, a hygiene dignity pack and that because we understand that if they do not understand anything to do with hygiene they will not be able to cope uh, uh, with life in a, with a positive vibe and that's why blessed to be a blessing has come in through to ensure that the teenagers have something to do and to help them when they are going through their menstrual uh, period and not only for the girls but also for the boys we want to thank the christian organization for such a blessing i am a girl preserve my period dignity thank you so much for the parts and we really appreciate it i know the girls are going to be motivated and we are beginning a, a a tailoring school through their help uh, uh, that will come through because when you empower a caregiver really you empower uh, the whole family instead of giving somebody fish show them how to do the fishing themselves so we are so grateful for the sewing machines um, it is a part of what we've been hoping for the so that the caregivers can be able to at least earn some living 
uh, maybe they'll, they'll by sewing the clothes and uh, selling and getting some money. So we are really, really humbled and uh, God bless you. And we are calling on you to join us. Just like the MANA Ministry International has come through for us, has come to join us. Just want to thank the director of Mana Ministries, uh, Maurice uh, Othiambo, the pastor and evangelist, for his great, great and big heart. Uh, you can purpose to partner with us or send your donations so that we can keep on continuing uh, to serve and make a difference in the lives of the families of the inmates who do not have anyone to turn to.